down for the first time with Devontae Freeman. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. At the 23-yard line. <laughs> From the shotgun, Ryan. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Devontae Freeman, they're not going to get him. Touchdown, Falcons. Devontae Freeman. 77 yards and they are able to strike first here on their opening drive well if they didn't get the wake up call before the game they got it right now two plays already in the end zone I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one a little bit of a jab the second one was the payoff that was the big one that landed one two end zone now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. The first carry now for Dalvin Cook. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Brings up second and four at the 34-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Cousins over the middle to Smith and he'll bring it up here to right at the 40 yard line six yards to pick up and that's a first down we'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive and based on our time with them you know prior to this game I feel like they've got a good mindset going in in fact the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try to get us ahead. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. It's Desmond Trufant. Well, he's got some breathing room. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. And, Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see it break down as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it up, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. Operating from the gun, Ryan. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. It's second and goal back to the eight-yard line now. Here's Ryan to throw. And it'll be held in by the tight end. It's Hooper for the Falcon touchdown. Matt Ryan, his second touchdown pass of this opening quarter. And the Falcons push further out in front. Bryant tacks on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. 
He'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Cousins the throw in. Smith catches left side. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Cousins on the keeper, and he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. The Vikings with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and 10. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Cousins gives way to Cook. And an alley to run. Give him nine on the carry that time and they're set up with a second and one. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. On second and a yard. Cousins. Flush to his right. And that'll be incomplete. No grounding call there. He had a receiver near the right sideline. It was pretty clear there. He just needed to get rid of that one. And he did have a receiver in the area, but initially my view was obstructed, and I thought that was going to be grounding, but clearly the correct call made, and that is no call. Is that why you threw your bow sheet down? Is that why you did it? Is that the flag? You can't be giving me up. i got a lot of issues up here in the booth. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. On fourth down, they do snap it to Cousins. And he's able to find Diggs. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert from Falcon territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Shift, shift. Recon, 132 fighter. Through, through. From the gun, here's Cousins. Throw left side complete. It's Smith. 12 yards there. First down, Vikings. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. Five men in the secondary now for the Falcons on third down. Working out of the gun, Cousins. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 23. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Cook. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And finally wrestled down at the 8-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. 
Here we go. Check out bro. Hot, hot. What is that? From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. From eight yards out, as they are now on the board here in the first half. Extra point up and good by Bailey. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now it's Ryan. He's got Freeman here. It's complete. Call it a three-yard gain, and that'll make this a second down. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Now it's Ryan. Over the middle, that's caught by Ridley. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Matt Ryan now three first-half touchdown passes. And the Falcons push further out in front. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive, and it seemed like they had maybe given up momentum. Well, not so fast. No, not at all, because they ended up pushing the lead up once again, and you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. Bryant's extra point up and good, and it's now 21-7. to This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. Cousins on first down. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker.